do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter kingdom plantae in that we are studying topic phanerograms now during the study of kingdom plantae we have studied different varieties of plants what's this phanerogram let's study and find out today about phanerograms when i say phanerograms in simple language i could say that phanerograms are nothing but seed bearing plants or plants that have seed in them Phanerograms can be further divided into two different categories. One is the gymnosperms, and another one is the angiosperms. When I say gymnosperms, it means seed naked plants. Now, when I say seed naked plants, what is it? Plants or fruits which do not have seeds. Now, there are certain plants present around which they do not have flower. Now, if a plant is not having flower, especially the date plant, how is the seed going to be formed? in if there is no flower there would be no sexual reproduction and if there is no sexual reproduction there are no chances to form a seed so how does a fruit is formed in that flower the fruit that is formed in those flowers are some another ways of reproduction but obviously sexual reproduction or flower reproduction is null or nil in those plants plants for example gymnosperms will have this seed naked now another kind of plants for example mango plant is called as angiosperm and when i talk about angiosperms they have their seed covered with fruit so gymnosperms will have just the seed without any fruit whereas your angiosperms will have seed that's covered with a fruit so if they are having a seed that's covered with a fruit obviously they will tend to have a flower if there is a flower there will be a male gamete and a female gamete the male gamete and the female gamete will undergo sexual reproduction to produce a seed and once the seed is formed there will be covering of fruit on that flower and those covering of fruit to that flower forms or covers the seed with a fruit and those are termed as angiosperms you can say a date plant is a gymnosperm whereas a mango is an angiosperm and together they come in the category of phanerograms phanerogram they are a part of kingdom plantae now kingdom plantae is divided into two different categories one was cryptogram and another was phanerogams now phanerogams were seed bearing plants whereas cryptogams were plants that do not bear the seeds thallophyta bryophyta pteridophyta belong to cryptogam family whereas your angiosperm and gymnosperm belongs to phanerogram family so these are flowering or seed bearing or producing plants and they may be further divided into two different categories the first category is the gymnosperms and another category is angiosperms a date plant could be a gymnosperm and there the seed of this plants are naked when i say this it means they do not have a covering of fruit on their seeds if fruit is not present then the flower won't be present if flower won't be present then there was no sexual reproduction the next category is the angiosperms and when i talk about angiosperms these are the seeds which are covered with a fruit wall so obviously there was a fruit which was in picture so there would be a flower there would be a sexual reproduction and hence the result was a seed that was covered with a fruit wall or you can say the pericarp or epicarp region now students this were phanerograms are phanerograms further divided into different categories yes phanerograms were further divided into angiosperms and gymnosperms and which were further divided back again angiosperms were divided into monocots and dicots and your gymnosperms were divided into coniferous and gentophis plants depending upon various categories students i hope that you have a clear picture of what phanerogram is thank you